Okay, so in this video, we'll start by installing Laravel, setting up uh, our Laravel project, and then set up Inertia with Svelte. And in the later videos, we'll be looking into defining the database, setting up the seeders and all the other stuff. So let's start by creating a new project. And by the way, the repo for this uh, project will be in this link and in this repository and I will be I'll be linking this and I'll be linking this in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out okay so let's start I'm gonna create a new project in my desktop and I'm gonna name it inertia felt students management let's hit enter and while this is installing let's go ahead and check out the documentation for inertia JS and if you are not familiar with uh, setting up Svelte with Inertia, I recommend you to watch my video, which you can check out by clicking the eye icon somewhere around in the top here. So in that video, we'll be taking a brief look into how we can set up Inertia with Svelte. So I'll be following that process step by step in this video as, as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out our command and laravel has been installed so let's cd into that and let's open up in our code editor and behind the scenes i have also created a new database so if we go ahead and check out the php my admin then as you can see i have named it in felt students management so i'll be using that and again this thing is lagging a lot git repository was found in the parent folders of the workspace or the open files Okay, I think I did this earlier and this was not deleted properly. Okay, let it be. And maybe we can initialize a new repository in here. Remote origin already exists. Okay, I think I have to remove this thing properly. So I'll just open that in my file manager and be right back. Okay, let's initialize a new git repository and now we can add that remote origin and what else do we have? Okay, we need to make changes to our ENV. The database name is going to be Inertia Svelte Students Management and let's also commit everything in here. So I'm going to give it a commit of initial commit and let's push it. Okay, what's our next step? The next step is to install and set up Inertia. So let's go ahead and check out the documentation in the server side. So we'll start by the server side setup. Let's install. Okay, I think instead of doing this, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use my own package, which I recently released. So that package does all of this stuff by default. So we can check that out. That's inside breeze spelt, I guess, yep. So we can use this package and this is going to set everything up for us. So yep, no wasting of our times anymore. So let's go ahead and copy this command and I'll just clear it up. So composer require the puncher mark breeze felt and I'm also passing in the dev flag. So I'll be right back once this finishes installing. While that is installing, we can check out the documentation so to install this felt version what we can do is we can pass in the svelte flag or we can use the interactive command or installer to install it so let's go ahead and do that artisan breeze installed and as you can see we have this felt stack in here so i'll choose felt and i don't need dark support so it's a no by default so we can hit enter would you prefer pests okay uh, i am not gonna cover tests in this case but still i'm gonna install pest maybe we can continue this in the future by also integrating it with tests so this is gonna install everything and set everything up and what do we have okay we can wait and i'll be right back once this finishes installing okay everything is now set up so let's go ahead and serve our project and we also need to run npm run dev to build our assets so i'll just also keep that running okay we don't have wit i think i need to okay inertia students management we already have wit right so why is that giving that error okay let's open up the project and let's go ahead and check out 
package but this one we should have with npm we already have npm as well so why is it giving that error okay i think we need to run npm install or maybe we should don't have to but not really sure why it's not working okay it added 20 packages and now it's working okay okay let's go ahead and check it out so this is the welcome page and we already have login and register pages set up for us so i'll just register a new user in this video and in the later videos we'll be working on setting up the models and migrations for our students so i'm gonna name it admin password is password click on register okay we haven't run the migrations let's go ahead and do that open that up in my vs code and i also want to zoom in a bit so that you can see it properly and let's run the migrations that's done let's go ahead and reload and they should now work properly click on register and we are logged in so yeah that's it for this part and in the next part we'll be looking at setting up the models and migrations and all the other stuff so i'll see you guys in the next one